In the late 1800s, in the state of Nevada, there lived a man named Jesus who was known for his kindness, compassion, and wisdom. He traveled from town to town, spreading his teachings of love, forgiveness, and salvation. Jesus had a way of connecting with people, regardless of their background or status in society. He often shared meals with outcasts and sinners, and his message of love and acceptance resonated with many. However, not everyone was accepting of Jesus' teachings. Some religious leaders saw him as a threat to their power and influence, and they plotted to have him arrested and punished. One of the most vocal opponents of Jesus' teachings was a local religious leader named Marcus. He was known for his strict adherence to the laws and traditions of his faith. He saw Jesus' message of love and forgiveness as a dangerous departure from the established norms. Marcus was particularly incensed by Jesus' habit of associating with outcasts and sinners, whom he viewed as undeserving of salvation. He saw Jesus as a threat to the established order of society and was determined to put an end to his teachings. As Jesus continued to gain followers and spread his message throughout Nevada, Marcus and his allies grew increasingly agitated. They spread rumors about Jesus and attempted to discredit him at every turn. They accused him of blasphemy and other crimes, hoping to turn public opinion against him. Despite their efforts, however, Jesus continued to draw crowds and spread his message of love and forgiveness. His followers remained loyal, and many of those who had previously been outcasts and sinners found hope and redemption through his teachings. One day, while Jesus was preaching in a small town, he was betrayed by one of his followers and turned over to the authorities. Marcus and his allies were able to have Jesus arrested and sentenced to be hung. He was publicly hung. When the authorities were sure he had passed, they took him off the rope and buried him not far from where he was executed. Three days later, Jesus' soul returned to his body and he escaped from his coffin, reuniting with his friends. He soon after left town, never to be seen there again. After his death, Jesus' followers spread his teachings throughout Nevada and beyond. They formed communities of believers and continued to share his message of love and forgiveness for generations to come.